And now introducing his opponent to the red corner, Andre Vasica. Another local favorite on the card here. I'll tell you what, this crowd is absolutely in love with Andre Sherban, fighter with the red gloves on. Oh, wow. Look at these two mix it up here. Or excuse me, Andre Vas Vasinka is the local fighter in the red gloves. Got two Andres here. Andre Sherban and Andre Vasinka. Vasinka backing his opponent up. Rough house into the corner. Vasinka, much, much older fighter. You can just tell it just looking at these two, their faces and their bodies it just seems like Vasinka much more polished veteran kind of a fighter and Sherban a youngster just 19 years old Stop. nine years younger than Vasinka and Vasinka also taller too of seven centimeters oh cracking shot to the body you can hear that one Gabriel and he is starting to unload now yeah, again, again, a, a matchup from the, for the experience against Whoa. a younger fighter, but tripped him up there, and he came crashing hard. I really believe in, in Sherban. He he is one of the guys who likes to fight. And <laughs> Andre Vasinka is a local guy, so it's a it's a good mix. This crowd here in. Sibio very supportive of their local fighters. Yeah. Very vocal as well. Good to have a very exciting crowd oh, on hand. Oh, it makes the can't... fighters so much more passionate as both men that time tasting the candy. If you ask me, if you ask me, he catch Vasinka. He really catch him. And he hit hard too. Yes. I think he landed on his shoulder on the way down. Changing up his stance back and forth. Now in a southpaw. 
Nasinka doubles up with the right, eats a low kick. There is almost a clash of heads there during that exchange. Business really starting to pick up here towards the end of round one. Oh, he tagged him. Yes. Sherban caught the chin that time. And back comes Vasinka. Oh! Look at this! That shot just infuriated Vasinka. And he wanted to get his revenge. here in round two. Will anybody make any changes? Had a chance to recuperate, get some advice from their corners. You know, this uh, Sherban is still a little bit wet behind the ears. He's only 19 years old with five pro fights. So he does need to listen very carefully to his corner, get that expert advice. A lot of times in round two, you'll see guys fight differently. You can see Vasinka is put, putting more pressure. Stop. And Sherban is ropes. becoming more. Uh, he's giving more attention on on his hits. Oh, Whoa! That was good. A left Stop. uppercut, I believe, connected yeah. that time from Vasinka. He's holding on to the ropes there and trying to deliver knees at the same time. He has a lot of uh, MMA background, so he uh -oh. he, he like he like to strike to, to strike from close. Oh boy, that yeah. that was a hard. Yeah, <laughs> that was very very hard uh, when they were on the inside there. There was almost a clash of heads and there was a low blow. There's a lot of funny business going on when these guys are in close. It's okay. Looks like he's ready to go. Tip, look up. Well, I saw Sherban look right over at my commentary partner and the promoter of Coliseum Tournament, Gabriel Trichet. <laughs> After that low blow, I don't know what that was all about. But anyway, oh, look at this. Oh my. And again, when these two, whoa, hello. He hit him way after the warning. Way after the warning. Now he's calling for uh, Sherban to go to a neutral corner while they take a look at the eye. Maybe we can get a replay to see exactly how that happened. There have been a, a couple of times in this fight where there have been incidental clashes of heads going on. And I think that could be what caused it but i'm not exactly sure there was also there's been low blows there's been headbutts there's been knees and kicks after the referee says to stop there's been all kinds of funny business going on here but right now it's, it's no laughing matter that's for sure that's how injuries happen and that's how fights get stopped early when things like that happen that's why the rules are in place to make sure that the fighters are fighting in the safest and most sportsmanlike manner. <laughs> a hush has fallen over the crowd here. The Transylvania Sports Hall in Sibiu, Romania.
The medic still putting a lot of pressure on that cut, trying to control the bleeding so that this fight can continue. This is the second time now that when there's been a local fighter inside the ring, that there's been a really nasty cut. And that's not a very desirable situation for the fans because they've paid the, to come here. And I, I've just looking over at one of the judges here, he says that he thinks it was an elbow that hit the Sherban. But uh, I guess it will continue. The fight will continue, I suppose. Arbitro, arbitro, and arbitro. no points being deducted here. And we're back to business. About a minute left on the clock here. That changes the complexion of this fight completely because both guys have had some time to recuperate now. So things could really get interesting right now. Both men feigning, changing their stances, trying to keep their opponent on the... Stop. Trying to keep their opponent guessing. Stop. See Vasnika really showing a lot of movement in there. Just out of range with that low kick and really didn't pull the trigger. The time on your screen may be a little bit off, folks, because of that timeout. And a slip and a fall once again. That ring could be slippery in there because of all the blood. It has been a bloody night here at Coliseum Tournament 16. I mean, we are here in Transylvania, so you never know if there are any vampires in attendance here. They may be in the locker room looking for more blood. Third and final round here at Coliseum Tournament 16 in Sibiu, Romania. Live on Fightbox HD around the world and in Romania on DigiSport. My name is Daniel Austin here at ringside. And this one is just getting more and more brutal as time goes on. Big left hook and there may have been another clash of heads. Very close there. It's the action out of control at times on the inside. Oh my, look at this, Stop. holy cow, Deep. and I think there was a clash of heads because now it's Sherban who's bleeding, oh lord. Like I said, there's been so Ready. much blood spilled inside the Coliseum tournament ring that any vampires here in Transylvania will be very happy. The medic now gonna go over to the blue corner and try to get this cut stopped. Both these guys want the win so desperately that they are just at times completely out of control. And when, when your opponent is stepping up the, his game, stepping up the, the aggression, a lot of times the other fighter feels that they need to do the same, but then when you play that game, 
it gets dangerous. It keeps going up and up and up and up, and eventually something's got to give. Something's got to break. And it, it gives us what we have right now. Injuries, cuts, low blows, things of that nature. So the medics are certainly having to work for their money tonight. But the fight will continue. Touch of gloves. It's it's still good sportsmanship between these here. Nobody's really fighting dirty. They're just ultra aggressive. Oh my lord! Look at this. Stop. And uh, somebody saw something. One of the judges at ringside saw that. Well, they're calling for the the cut to again be addressed. Deep. There's only two minutes left in the fight. I say just let them fight it out. If they want to fight, just go ahead and let them do it. It's going to get worse before it gets better, that's for sure. The blood continuing to drizzle out of the corner of the right eyebrow of Andre Sherban. Half the time expired now in the third and final round. You can see, I think there's actually a second cut too, right between the eyes at the inside of the left eyebrow, and it's flowing down into the face. He's cutting two spots now. If that blood continues to flow, he'll be blind in one eye and he won't be able to see out of the other one. And another, that could have been another headbutt. These two need to fight under Lethway rules, I think, in the next Coliseum tournament event, where headbutts are legal. Spinning back fist, he had a lot of extra juice on that one. The white ring has been stained red from the blood of these two warriors. Back into the red corner now. Tries to put him in a headlock. These two just brawling all over the ring here. Stop. Ten second hammer goes down. Time running out. Stop. Stop. That's it.
All three judges see it the same way for your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the red corner.